Hey, it's Brendan at Psycasserole, and today I'm talking about how INFPs are so adaptable. So if you look up the description of INFPs online, you'll often see INFPs touted as being adaptable. And so today I want to talk about what this actually means to be adaptable. I want to see if INFPs actually are adaptable. And also I want to talk about AI, and I want to talk about something that it let me know that I wasn't aware of before about INFPs being adaptable, and I need to know if this is true, so I'm gonna need your help down in the comments. So if you look up the definition of adapt online, you'll see that it's the ability to adjust to new conditions. So INFPs are able to change themselves in ways in order to be comfortable in a new scenario or a new scene or a new situation. So an example of this would be in the workplace. So let's say you have a work team and there's one INFP on the team and a bunch of other people of differing types and everybody has a plan and there's a budget and everybody's happy and everybody's working toward their goal and suddenly the budget is cut $5,000. So everybody on the team is freaking out because the plan has gone out the window. Now the INFP is going to excel in a situation like this because INFPs are comfortable with being flexible. They can often be comfortable with change as well. And so the INFP can say something like, hey, y'all, what we need to do in this situation is we need to ditch part of that plan that we had before. We need to adjust some things and we need to execute this in a different way and we can pull through to the other side. And the, you know, knowing how people are in the workplace, they'll probably say, like, well, you know, I guess we don't really have a choice. I guess we'll just have to change things and go with, you know, this plan. And then they do it and then, you know, they come out on the other side and they're happy and everybody's like, wow, that was amazing. You know, we had a plan and we, you know, changed things and we finangled it and we pulled through. So that was amazing. So INFPs are able to adjust things because of their extrovert intuition. They're able to see possibilities. They're able to push forward because of that. So before filming this, I Googled INFPs and being adaptable because I was like, I want to see what Google says, okay? And AI gave me an answer and it said something that I was like, I don't even know what's going on now, okay? I'm like, I'm just freaking out because I've never heard this before. It said that INFPs are comfortable in ambiguity. And so I was like, I need to ask you all, is this true? Are INFPs comfortable in ambiguity? So ambiguity is being between two things, a left and a right. So if you have a stance on a particular subject, it could be politics. You have left, middle, and right. So ambiguous is in the middle, you know, undecided. And I think when AI said this, it was saying, you know, this is within certain social contexts or within social living uh, conditions. INFPs can sort of adjust themselves. And I say living conditions, I make it sound like, you know, I, I don't know if that's, that's accurate, but you know, I'm trying to figure this out and, and I'm trying to see what does it mean that INFPs are comfortable in ambiguity. So I need to know. So my personal take on INFPs being adaptable is that we're so creative and we're so empathetic. So we can put ourselves in other people's shoes oftentimes. So we use our FI coupled with our NE and we go there, perspective taking, we do it, do it all the time. And we're able to adjust ourselves. And I'm gonna give you an example. When I'm around certain family members, I can change my personality a little. I don't change my personality per se, but what I do is I will only talk about certain subjects because I know that certain family members are uncomfortable talking about certain things. So some might call that self-awareness. I just call it, you know, I, I understand what they would prefer to talk about most likely. And so when I'm around them and knowing that they're all sensors, I talk about things like, you know, uh, sports. I don't know much about sports, but I talk about sports or I talk about politics or I can talk about the weather or I can talk about, you know, who, what this person's doing or what this person's doing. You know, I can just adjust myself in that way. But I'm not actually changing my personality. I'm not changing my sense of humor. I'm not changing my tone. I'm not changing anything about me other than the fact that I'm just talking about certain things. 
And I think INFPs are able to adjust themselves really well in that way. And I think INFPs can be also be labeled as being self-aware because of that. So INFPs, I need to know, 